Hello once again, everybody. This has got a transformer mode. I have today a 10 booster pack opening of Hidden Fates. I'm excited for this. In 10 packs, we shouldn't go hitless, essentially. Hopefully, we just get some good cards, preferably some shinies, because there's definitely a bunch of full arts I still need. Uh, still some of the baby ones. Yeah, I mean, still, still some. Plus, there's a handful of reverses. So, actually, pretty much the only card we're going to be interested in here is going to be the reverse holo slot, because it's only reverses, and it's only shinies that I need. Everything else is complete. So, technically, I could just go through, pull out the reverses, and call it a video, looking at those. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to open up the packs normally. Uh, I think I want to start with this one, though, just because something's odd with it. Like, for some reason, this this one pack is, like, scrunched up at the mid the bottom, but also has, like, this silver, like, top. Like, all the rest of these don't have, or, like, see, are, like, done normally. I mean, I guess this one has some silver showing, but that one also still seems fine. This one, we'll just open this one first. It's, it's acting sus. <laughs> to use some imposter terms uh, from Among Us. So in the background today, though, we have, Sh uh, we have Shark Con and Bulbasaur, as always. This guy right here is Skippy Dippy Disc. That is the official name. I don't know if that's a reference to something, but it's a weird-sounding name. Kind of just makes me want to giggle when I say it. There's a Hidden Fates code for you all to start things off. Pause and take it if you want it. Hopefully get something good from it. And the first pack has a Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Misty's Determination, and Scyther. The rare. A Gyarados GX. That is a not... That is a not bad way to start things off. I don't know if that's... That's probably not some proper English, but that's still really good. The reverse slash shiny is a Snorlax, which is a rare reverse holo. I think I have this one, though. Yeah, that one's not on the list, so it is a duplicate, but still. A rare reverse and a Gyarados is pretty awesome. Alright, so second pack. Mew on the front. Four and two because of the card I do not name. We have an Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Pogostrap, Brock's Peter City Gym, and Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. The rare, if I can separate them at all. There we go. The rare. Back to back GX with a Starmie GX. Why can't this be the why can't this be the reverse spot? Give me some of those shiny GXs, uh, but the reverse slash potential shiny. Clefable, which is a rare reverse. That is actually one I needed. So, all right, I, I will take that. Like, considering there's a, it's a very small list, like, at most a dozen without counting them. So that is awesome that we actually pulled one I needed. Very happy with that. Pack number three, Shiny Charizard. Would love to pull that. Would absolutely love to pull that. Because that's a card I'm never going to be buying if I don't pull it. <laughs> like, I'm not spending that much money on a single card. We have a Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Jinx, Magmar, and Farfetch'd, the rare. Okay, just a Mew, so we didn't go three for three, but that's fine. The reverse slash shiny. Pokemon Center Lady, Uncommon Trainer, not one of the ones I need. 
I do need four of the trainers, but that was not one of them. So legendary birds on this next one. And I'll give out a code there. So there you go. Four and two, there we go. And we have Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Chansey, Graveler, and Giovanni's Exile, the rare, Jolteon, non-holo rare. It's, it's interesting that Jolteon's here as a non-holo, Vaporeon's a holo, and then for some reason there's no Flareon, I believe. Yeah, so I, think, I think it's just the... Yeah, no, because it's... Uh, Charmander, Charmeleon, the Charizard GX, and Magmar, and that I believe is it for the fire types. So weird that there's just no Flareon. Anyway, the reverse slash shiny. A Noibat. Very, very nice. I think that's one I don't have. Oh no, no, it is one I have. Okay. So I'm happy to get a shiny. Unfortunately, it is one I have pulled before. Or have gotten before. Either way. Still very, very nice. Happy we did also get at least a shiny out of this. So if we if we went 10 for 10 with no shiny, I'd have been sad. <laughs> like this many packs, I would hope for at least one. There we go, once again. I mean, I, I know nothing's guaranteed, but, you know, you, you hope with that many. The, the odds are likely. We have a Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, and Misty's Determination. The Rare. Another Mew. non hollow Reverse slash Shiny. Another shiny. We got a Zerka tree. Now is this one I need? What are you, 14? Yes, it is. There we go. That is a new shiny for my collection. Very, very nice. Do I have the... No, okay, I don't, I don't have the GX either, so... First shiny Zerka tree. Either version. Which is awesome. That one did not open nicely at all. But it's fine. Didn't keep us from opening it. So we have a Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Chansey, Brock's Grit, and Scyther, the Rare, Golem, non hollow the reverse slash shiny. A fighting energy. I've stated already my opinion on those. I don't care for them. I'm not collecting them. So I'd rather have gone a reverse hollow than those. Four and two once again. We're gonna start with another Ekans, Paris, Oop. Caterby, Charmander, Clefairy, Graveler, Farfetch'd, and Chinx, the rare, Mr. Mime, non holo the reverse slash shiny, Bill's Analysis, which is a rare train reverse, not bad, I think I have this one. Yes, I have this one, so it is a duplicate there once again. That's, that's okay. Three packs left. Legendary birds on this one. Give out another code. There you go. Again, just pause and take it if you want it. 
Hopefully get something good from it. And we have a Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Misty's Determination, and Jinx, the rare. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I saw the hollow. I said rare, but then for some reason was expecting a reverse hollow. I was like, why is the hollow in the card picture? <laughs> it is a Brock's training hollow. Very nice. The first hollow. Uh, the reverse slash shiny. <laughs> how about that? I just mentioned how I had neither of the circuit trees. And then they decided to give me the other. It is the full art shiny Zerkatry GX. Awesome pull. Very, very nice. It is funny and weird that we got both of them together like that. Especially when I had mentioned it after getting the first one. So one more code. There you go. And this next one has a Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Charmeleon, Chansey, and Giovanni's Exile, the rare, Clefable, that one reverse rare we got that was new, and that was a regular non hollow reverse slash shiny if i can pick it up there we go zorua shinies i'm just happy to get a shinies uh i think this is what i have though what number are you 25 yeah i have this one so it is a duplicate shiny but still very very nice that's four shinies, three regular and one full our GX. Can we get another one? Can we make it five out of ten for a 50% pull rate? We shall see. I mean, maybe if we can't get a shiny here, maybe a new reverse hollow. We'll see. We have a Voltorb, Coughing. Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, and Sabrina's Suggestion. Final Rare, Kangaskhan, which is another non hollow Final Reverse slash Shiny. Not a good way to end. <laughs> I mean, hollow energies, I'm sure are worth it for people. Again, me personally, I don't care for them in the slightest. Like, I'd rather have gotten a reverse hollow, but regardless, I'm very pleased with this opening. We had one new reverse hollow with Clefable, uh, Clef Clef which is awesome. I'm happy to have gotten one. Uh, we had two regular GXs with Gyarados GX and a Starmie GX. We had four shinies. We had the Noibat and the Zorua, which are both duplicates. But then we also had the Zerkatry and the Zerkatry GX. So both Zerkatries were new which is awesome and just i'm i'm stunned and pleased that they came together like this that's just awesome i also can't help but notice the gx version is extremely spikier than the regular card there <laughs> like that looks like a mace like that looks like the end of a mace versus like like pointy fluff. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe that one, but like that one looks like a mace. That one doesn't. But I'm pleased with both of the cards. I'm happy we got a new shiny. I'm happy it was two. One of them was a full art one. 
I'm not going to say this is my last Hidden Fates opening. Because while I'm not, I don't believe I will ever find a Hidden Fates product in a store again, I don't want to say I'm never going to buy packs again. So time will tell if I do ever bite the bullet and buy some more packs at the moment. Last time, I mean, I checked before I did this, they're at like $10 a pack, which, I mean, that's fair enough. It's a popular set. It's pretty much done being printed, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, we're on to Champion's Path, so more than likely it's done. I don't think $10 is too much for it. So we'll just have to wait and see. Because at the moment, I'm not sure I will or will not buy more. But either way, that is it for this video. So thank you guys very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more, of course. Have a great day.